am Ahmed Zuber and this is the Insiders Pro Guide on how to architect and how to design. On this channel we do architectural skills, rendering design processes. If you're a regular watcher, welcome back and if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos on this channel. So let's get on with it. This logbook has been stitched together by hand only because it was easier to turn the two sketchbooks into one. The first thing I did was look at the brief and highlight all the important stuff. I sometimes think it is useless as I nearly highlighted everything. This is a renovation project on, of a brownfield site in Smethwick in the UK. It has a lighthouse factory and was the world's biggest one. It supplied nearly all the lighthouses you can see today around the world. So yeah, it has quite the story attached to it. What I first did was a quick initial brief analysis, looking at what kind of renovation I am doing and what I am turning this project into. The main thing the client wanted was to create a mixed-use artist collective studio where artists can hire a whole floor and work maybe bring some historical wor workshops to remind the area of the rich history the building has. Now we will talk about president studies. President studies should be done in a great detail. Not every single one, but the one you think we will use throughout your design processes should be in detail. As you can see, some images are and some are detailed drawings, analysis, important features to the project. I mainly looked at the interior spaces since this is a, a renovation project and it's a listed building, meaning I can't do anything to the, to the exterior. All I can do is mess around with the interior. If you want to see how to do the present studies, let me know in the comments section down below. For the site analysis, I just drew a large sun path showing the sun, showing the use of sun light in the project. I added noise diagrams, wind and many more features. If you want to see how to do a site analysis, comment down below. And if you want to see a site analysis poster, make sure to watch my previous video which I will have linked in the description down below. I then started to come up with some concepts. I was thinking something with colors, dividing each floor in a different function, something great. Looking at bubble diagrams, I can understand the relationship to all the spaces. The main idea was to add a new roof so that it can become a beacon for the city when, when being passed by around this, the site and the area. The interior, I wanted some elevated walkways which have a dramatic cuts in it. To resemble the broken glass of the history. I then did a very good precedent study by Peter Einzman. These are the plans for the spaces where there will be private rooms which can be separated into large spaces. Because the project is a listed building, I was only able to work on the interior, so I mainly focus on the section and how I can make it exciting as possible. The feedback I got was very good, but I did not like those private spaces I talked earlier about before. They said just keep it all empty to allow the artists choose how they want to work. After a lot of development, I finally got somewhere good. This was the first time I designed in section throughout the whole design process, which I really enjoyed. I learned a lot. These are the plans that I went went on and as you can see the plan is very narrow and long and has a lot of furniture but no walls allowing the users to sit how and where they want to. And these are the plans in AutoCAD which, which has some development with pen over it. This is what I presented first and I really liked it, it just they wanted the plants to be bigger and make the section bigger too. There is a lot of construction needed for renovation projects, so I did a full 1 to 20 scale construction detail for the new roof. And this is the final poster that I handed in. They are on two separate A0 sheets which is pretty big. 
I got my grade for this and I'm happy to say that I got 84% and I'm very very grateful and happy for this. And this is the last of the logbook. Here are some final models I used to present my work. Models are very very important. If you want to see a video about how to make models, let me know in the comment section down below. The interesting one is the last one as I showed how the cuts of the floor affect the spaces below. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, this is the end of the Insiders Pro Guide, I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time.